What if I told you there's a market worth trillions of dollars, quietly shaping the global economy every single day? Yet most people barely understand it. It's not the stock market. It's something much larger, the bond market. This market is the backbone of modern finance, valued at over $46 trillion globally. It determines interest rates, fuels government spending, and affects everything from corporate growth to your personal loan rate. Understanding it doesn't just make you smarter, it can open doors to powerful financial opportunities most people never see. So let's take a deep dive into the world of bonds. At its simplest, a bond is a loan. But instead of a person borrowing from a bank, it's usually governments or companies borrowing from investors. When you buy a bond, you're lending money. In exchange, you receive interest payments, known as coupons, at regular intervals. And when the bond reaches maturity, you get back your full investment. It's one of the oldest and most trusted financial tools in history, dating back centuries to when kings and empires issued bonds to fund wars, exploration, and infrastructure. Today, bonds still serve the same purpose. They finance growth, stability, and innovation on a global scale. There are different types of bonds, each with unique characteristics. Government bonds, also called sovereign bonds, are issued by national governments. These are generally the safest because the government promises to repay. For example, U.S. Treasury bonds are considered virtually risk-free, backed by the full faith and credit of the U.S. government. Then there are municipal bonds issued by cities and states. These fund public projects like schools, hospitals, or bridges. They're usually low risk and can even offer tax-free interest for investors. Finally, we have corporate bonds issued by private companies to raise money for expansion, research, or debt repayment. These tend to offer higher yields, but they also carry higher risk since companies can default if their business struggles. To help investors understand risk, rating agencies like Moody's, Standard & Poor's, and Fitch assign grades to bonds from AAA, extremely safe, to D, in default. Higher ratings mean lower risk and lower returns. Lower ratings mean higher potential returns, but a greater chance of loss. This balance between risk and reward is the heart of bond investing. Professional investors spend years studying yield curves, credit spreads, and interest trends to find that perfect equilibrium. Now, here's where things get more interesting and where the bond market's real power lies, interest rates. Bond prices move inversely to interest rates. When rates rise, bond prices fall. When rates drop, bond prices rise. Why? Because if new bonds are offering higher interest, existing bonds paying lower rates become less attractive, so their prices drop. This simple relationship connects the bond market to the entire economy. When the Federal Reserve or any central bank changes interest rates, it directly influences bond values. And that ripple effect extends to mortgages, credit cards, savings accounts, even the stock market. For example, when interest rates rise, companies face higher borrowing costs. Investors move money from stocks to bonds for safety. Stock prices fall while bond yields climb. When rates fall, the opposite happens. Borrowing becomes cheaper, stocks surge, and bond prices rise. So, in many ways, the bond market acts as a mirror for the economy's health. And... Let's explore a real-world scenario. Imagine a city needs to build a new subway system. Instead of raising taxes, it issues municipal bonds worth $500 million. Investors buy these bonds, essentially lending money to the city. The city uses those funds to construct the subway, and every six months, investors receive interest payments. After 10 years, when the bonds mature, investors get back their full $500 million plus all the interest earned along the way. This is how bonds quietly fund the infrastructure that keeps society running, from bridges to hospitals to entire power grids. But there's another layer. The global bond market, often referred to as the real pulse of the world economy. Unlike stocks, which can be influenced by hype or emotion, bonds are grounded in mathematical fundamentals, interest, inflation, and creditworthiness. That's why major investors, hedge funds, and even governments study the bond yield curve closely. 
When short-term yields rise above long-term yields, known as an inverted yield curve, it's often a warning sign of an upcoming recession. This pattern has predicted nearly every major economic downturn in modern history. So when economists say the bond market is flashing red, it's not just a figure of speech. It's a sign the world's financial system is bracing for impact. Now, for individual investors, bonds can play several key roles. Stability. They balance out volatile stock portfolios. Income. Regular coupon payments provide predictable cash flow. Diversification. They perform differently than stocks, reducing overall risk. Safety. High-rated bonds act as a financial cushion in uncertain times. Even the wealthiest investors, including billionaires and pension funds, hold significant portions of their assets in bonds, precisely because they protect wealth while generating consistent returns. And in today's world, investing in bonds is more accessible than ever. You don't need to buy a $10,000 treasury bond directly. You can invest in bond ETFs, index funds, or mutual funds. These let you own slices of hundreds of bonds, spreading out risk and simplifying management. For example, a treasury bond ETF tracks U.S. government bonds, while a corporate bond ETF includes debt from companies like Apple, Microsoft, or Coca-Cola. These tools make the bond market open to everyday investors, not just financial institutions. But here's the deeper truth. The bond market isn't just about returns. It's about control. When governments issue bonds, they're raising funds without printing new money. When investors buy those bonds, they're essentially funding national debt. This dynamic forms a global web of interdependence, where investors, governments, and central banks all rely on each other. That's why when countries like the US, China, or Japan shift their bond policies, global markets react instantly. A sudden drop in bond demand can spike interest rates worldwide. And when major central banks buy back bonds, known as quantitative easing, it injects trillions into the economy, often boosting markets but fueling inflation. The bond market, in essence, is where economic power truly resides. To summarize, the bond market is the foundation of global finance. It's how nations grow, how corporations innovate, and how investors protect their wealth. It's not loud or flashy like the stock market, but it's the quiet force that decides how money moves, how economies breathe, and how power shifts between governments and people. Understanding it gives you an edge, because while others chase headlines, you'll see the signals first. So the next time someone talks about interest rates, inflation, or economic crises, remember, it all starts here, in the bond market. The invisible network that keeps our financial world running and shapes the destiny of economies everywhere. Stay curious, stay informed, and keep watching how bonds move, because that's how you truly learn to see the economy in motion.